Hey, hello and welcome to today's GLG prompt that you're uploading extremely well. So let's say today's prompt, remove duplicates in array. So what the problem is saying is we'll be given an array consisting of positive integer numbers. We want to remove all duplicate numbers, okay? So what the problem is, so let's see through an example, 2, 2, 3, 3, 7 and 5, okay? So if this is an example array, what the problem is saying is we want to re remove all the duplicates and we want to return the final uh, array with distinct elements. That's what the ask is. Okay. Now, how can we solve this problem? Okay. So first let's see the naive or, uh, one of the approaches. Okay. In order to solve this problem. So here, what we can do is, for example, now this, this is the array, right? So we can sort this array. Now this example, like this array in, uh, yeah. So let's, let's sort this array, right? So two, two, three, three and five and seven. Okay. So after sorting, this array will look like this, but it will take what? O of n log n time complexity, right? We know that in order to sort uh, the array, it takes O of n log n time complexity, okay? So once so once it is sorted, now what we'll do is we'll run a while, we'll run a for loop, okay? So we will compare the, the current in the next element, okay? And we'll have a J pointer, for example, let's say J is pointing here, okay? So this, this is I and this is I plus one, right? So what are we going to check is we are going to check the current in the next element. If they are same, we will ignore. If they are not, right, we will. So for example, now they are same here. So let's ignore, let's increment i, right? Now i will be, i will point here and i plus one definitely, i plus one will be here, right? Yeah. So we'll compare i with i plus one, arrow of i plus, with i, arrow of i plus one. Okay, now they are not same, right? They are not same. So what we're going to do is we will, we will write R of I into R of J. Okay, the same, the same array it is going to be, right? It is going to be the same array. R of I will write R of I into R of J. So where is J pointed to? It is pointed at zero location. So we'll write here too, right? Then, then we will proceed ahead again, right? I is pointing here. We'll compare with I plus one, right? They are same. We'll ignore. We'll just simply increment I. We'll simply increment I. So I will be here and I plus one will be here, right? We'll compare again R of I. Now, yeah, so, so yes, one more thing after writing an element on jth location, right? We'll also increment j. Okay, so j will be pointing here. Okay, now again, we'll compare this arrow of i with arrow of i plus one. They are not same. So we will place arrow of i. We'll place this arrow of i into arrow of j. So it is going to be this, right? Two, three. Okay, and we'll also increment j with this, right? So now we'll again compare, right? This, this is i now. This is i. We'll compare with i plus one. No, they are not same. Right, they are not same, so we will write five r of i to r of j. We'll increment j here. J is pointing here now, right? J is pointing here now, but now we will exit out of this, ex exit out of this uh, for loop because we are uh, iterating till n minus one. Okay, and finally, whatever is the last i, right? Whatever is the last i, r of i, we are going to write it as is. Okay, seven. So in this way, we will have sorted array. Okay, so we'll have j. Okay, we'll have sorted array. Now, this approach, but this approach is going to take us what? O of n log n time complexity. But here, the expected time complexity is O of n. Okay, so we have to think better. Okay. Now, now how can we solve this problem in O of n? Okay, in O of n. Let's, let's quickly see. Okay. Okay, so here, Okay, anyways, so here the expected time complexity is O of n and space complexity is O of 1. Okay, now there has been, there has been some constraint given. Okay, this, the element R of i, the element R of i will be less than equal to 100 and greater than equal to 2, basically. So the element, the element, right, the element inside the array, max it is going to be 100, right, max it is going to be 100. So this I have not, so here it is mentioned here. Let's, let's quickly see. So here the constraint, right? If you see the constraint, R of i will be less than equal to 100 and greater than equal to 2. Okay. So we are going to use this condition, right? Okay. To our benefit. So what we're going to do is we are going to have, for example, let's say a DP array. Okay. Of size 101. Okay. Since 100, since it will be zero based indexing, 100 element will also be there, right? Okay. So we'll take this, right? Now, for example, let's say now we have this DP array, right? Okay, now what are we going to do? 
we are going to so this is this is our array this is our array right so we'll start we'll start with this element we are going to check if so for example 0 1 2 3 4 5 and so on right till 100 so we're going to check for example let's also hold on just uh, what we'll do is yeah so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and so on right so we'll start with this element right we'll start with this element and we'll check whether if so this basically first initial it is going to be filled with what all zeros right all zeros so we'll check here if if this contains if this contains zero if if dp of two if dp of two contains zero then we are going to place and also what we're going to have we are going to have a j pointer right we are going to have the j pointer okay we are going to have the j pointer here so again let's let's consider the same array right we are not taking a new array just keep in mind let's say that we are having a j pointer here which is pointing at zeroth location so first we are going to take this element we are going to search whether this is dp of 2 if it is not zero okay if it is zero if it is zero sorry we are going to check if it is zero right dp of 2 if it is zero then we are going to place this this two element at j location okay and then we are going to increment j okay then we'll move ahead also also with this we are going to write two year right with the, we, with this we are going to write two year okay now again we we come across this uh, two element we're going to check here if dp of two if it is zero no it is not zero so we'll ignore this okay we'll go ahead okay now we come across this so dp of three we're going to check if it is zero yes then what are we going to write we are going to write this particular three into this okay and also we'll write three over here on this location okay and we'll increment j here and then we'll move ahead to the next element now we check if dp of three if it is zero no it is not zero let's move ahead let's proceed and let's ignore this three okay then we'll check here if dp of seven if it is zero yes it is zero then we are going to place we are going to place here at the jth location this particular seven at the jth location okay we'll increment j okay and we'll also write seven here right we'll also write seven here and we'll come across to the next element dp of we'll check dp of five if it is zero yes it is zero yes it is zero so we're going to place five here okay and we'll in also increment j and uh that's it like we'll increment j and we'll also place five here and that's it like all the elements are exhausted and finally finally we'll have the the unique elements in this array the same array just keep in mind this is the same array okay you will get the unique elements till the jth location till the jth location then what are we going to do we will we will have uh a result list or array okay a new array and we will iterate this array till arrow of uh, we will iterate this array till jth okay and whatever the elements are there till jth position we'll copy those into the resultant list or array so this is the intuition behind solving this problem i hope you have got the intuition also <coughs> what extra space we are taking here is dp but this this dp we are taking 101 so this is a constant space it is not changing and hence we can say that the space complexity is O of 1. This is very important. If you see here, the auxiliary space complexity is O of 1. Okay. Okay. So I hope you have got the intuition. Let's now quickly solve this problem. So let's stay. First, I'll show the Java code followed by C. Okay. So here. Okay. So here we took DP array. Okay. And then we'll take a J pointer as well. Okay. Now what are we going to do? Int i equal to. 0 i less than let's take n as well add dot n plus plus i okay now what we're going to check if dp if dp of r of i of r of i if it if it equals to 0 then we are going to place r of j right r of j okay and r of i okay and what are we going to do we are also going to increment j and we will place r of i dp of r of i right equal to r of i that means we are saying that okay this element we have already uh we have already ingested in, into the array right we already considered now if next time it, it comes we have to ignore it right so that's what we are doing right dp of 
air of i air of i for example if it is 2 so dp of 2 we are assigning to uh, air of i which is again 2 right that's what we are doing okay so this is the solution okay till till now now what are we going to do since this is expected the expectation is we have to return list right so we we are going to create a resultant list Okay, then what are you going to do? Int i equal to 0, i less than j plus plus i. Okay, and then result dot add air of i. If you keep in mind, so we are going till j only. Okay, we are going to j only because we will have all the distinct elements till j. Okay, and finally we are going to return the result. Let's compile this. Okay, the output is right. Let's submit. So if you see, we are adhering to the time complexity. It is going to take O of n time complexity and space complexity is also O of 1 because we are taking only the, the constant space of 101. That's it. And it's not variable space. That is why you can say we are taking O of 1 extra space. Okay. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have got the solution. Please, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video. Okay. Let's quickly see the C++ code as well. So is a C++ code. Okay. So here we are taking this vector as a DP array. We are taking, we are taking a resultant index, which is J, which I showed in the code. And then, yeah, I've already explained this, right? I've already explained this. I'll, I'll attach the code in the comment section so that you'll understand better. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, like the video. Have a happy, healthy, and a great day. Thank you so much.